With water restrictions and conservation around the world, rinseless washes have become wildly popular. But are they safe? And do they cause scratching in your paint? Find out today on this episode of Details. My name is Larry Casilla, and I'm a professional detailer. Together with Autoblog, we're creating the ultimate collection of quick car care videos. This is Autoblog Details. Here are the items you'll need for this task. First, make sure the paint is cool to the touch. Hot paint will cause the cleaning fluid to evaporate quicker than normal because minimal water is being used. Evaporation means no lubrication. No lubrication means scratching. Use a one gallon jug purchased from the grocery store or fill a five gallon bucket with one gallon from your sink. You'll need at least six microfiber towels of 300 to 350 GSM or grams per square meter, not too thin or not too thick, along with your favorite waterless or rinseless wash product. Dunk one microfiber towel into the bucket and squeeze the water from the towel on top of the car, allowing the water to drip down the sides. Then immediately spray the rinseless wash on the wet area. This will ensure a minimum amount of water is used, yet still provide lubrication from the product water mix. The mix will help lift the dirt prior to lightly wiping in straight lines with the wet microfiber towel. Repeat these steps from top to bottom, rotating the microfiber towel after each swipe until every side is dirty. Then replace it with a clean, damp microfiber towel and repeat. As you progress to the lower portions of the paint, the vehicle will have more dirt, or if said another way, more tiny rocks that will require more lubrication to avoid marring the paint. So be sure to splash the area with the remaining one gallon of water and apply a heavy layer of rinseless wash before wiping with several clean and damp microfiber towels. Now that the contaminants have been removed safely, I quickly spray wax the paint using a clean, dry microfiber towel to add a bit of shine and protection. Although I understand the need for rinseless or waterless washes, sometimes it's best to leave it dirty for an extra few days in order to hand wash it properly with free flowing water than it is to clean it immediately in a less safe manner, such as the one I just described. This is the dilemma we all face as obsessive car owners. Lastly, you can use the same technique on rims, but remember brake dust particles are typically larger and harder than road grime, so you'll need a lot of lubrication and many towels that cannot ever be used on the paint. For more how-to car care videos, visit autoblog.com slash details. I'm Larry Casilla from ammonyc.com. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.